Now, Mr. Sams, hmm. now that we've learned about kind of where the electrons are kind of in space. And aren't. And aren't, yeah. Um, we want to actually kind of give an address to them. So that's okay. the concept of electron configuration. So electron today, addresses. Yeah, it's okay. like an address. Yeah, that's cool. I oh, like yeah. that. I like this. It's the electron addresses that we want to talk about today. So electron configurations follow a couple of rules or principles, technically. The first one's called the Aufbau principle. Probably going to pause the podcast right here, and this is it. They fill orbitals starting at the lowest available levels before filling higher levels. Yes, pause, write that down real quick. And what that basically means, folks, is that if you've got a level, this is an energy level, and then there's another energy, another energy, another energy. It starts with the bottom energy level first, and they actually use arrows, and the arrows indicate an electron. And uh, we'll talk a little bit later about why they're arrows. Okay, the second thing is called the Pauli exclusion principle. Um, and the next last one is Hund's rule, and I'll have slides for each of those. So in the Pauli exclusion principle, the electrons can only be in one place at a time. Mm -hmm. So they can't be in two places. Nope. Only one. That's and in one spot. Now, it can, they, can, they can move to a different spot, correct. but they can only be in one place at a time. Yeah, and we'll illustrate that. Yep. And the last one is called Hund's rule, and that says that you fill orbitals of equal energy first before pairing up. So if I've got three orbitals, now we learned about an orbital, and actually orbital notation, we use these things called, well, things called their boxes. Yeah. And uh, actually it would be more like this. So if I've got three orbitals of equal level, okay, and those are boxes, and those would be like a P orbitals that we talked about in the previous podcast. Remember the P orbitals? And there's three different p orbitals. If I have, say, uh, four electrons to put in this box, I would put one here, one here, and one here. I, I don't pair them up first. They're equal energy. Well, I have to pair the fourth one up, and this is how you would do that. And show them how you wouldn't do that. Yeah, what I wouldn't do, good call, Mr. Sams. What I wouldn't do is I wouldn't do one, two, three, four. I wouldn't do that because... Right. You'll never have a paired up set with an empty orbital yeah, in the same energy in level. The same and energy when level. we start doing more electron configurations, this will make a little more sense. Right now, you yeah. may not quite know what these boxes We've and arrows stand for. We've got some practice to show right. you here in a minute. We'll now, here's the key thing to understand. There's The thing that people struggle with is how do you... Um, fill the orbitals. What's the lowest orbital? Because you've got these energy levels. What's the lowest energy level? Mm -hmm. The key is that you read the periodic table like a book. Left, okay. to, left right, to right, top, top to, to bottom. bottom. And so here is the periodic table. We'll kind of go through here. So the first box right here, we start with the very first box. It is 1s. Okay? So you fill the 1s first. Okay? And then that includes this. The 1s is kind of a weird orbital yeah. in that it's both hydrogen, this is hydrogen, and this is helium over mm -hmm. here. So you fill them first. It's yeah, and hydrogen weird. and helium, they could really live. I mean, hydrogen could live there, but it could also live kind of over here. Yeah. So, th yeah, don't worry hydrogen, about it. Hydrogen, I kind of think, as the uh, you know the orphan child of the periodic table. He's sort not really an alkali metal, not at all. And he is, but he's not, not a, halogen. a halogen either. So he's kind of off by himself. So you, what you're going to do is you, you draw this blank periodic table, and you're going to fill in with these boxes. The next level is the 2s, as you can see. Remember, we went to the new line. When you get mm -hmm. the end of a line, you went down to the next line, top yeah. to bottom. The next level is 2p, mm -hmm. all right, and then 3s, mm -hmm. and then 3p. So what you notice here is the s and the p's, the number corresponds to the row number that they're in. In right. the first row, you have 1s. In the second row, you have 2s, yeah, So 2P. think of this right here, folks, as the s block. This you'll find out in a minute, and it's going to race here, the way I've got this set up, is the d block, and this will be the p block. So just kind of keep going. Mm -hmm. After you get to 3P, well, you're in a line. Where are you going to go? Down to 4. So everybody predict. What do you think that one's going to be? Hmm. You're right. It's 4S. Yay. Except for those of you who were wrong and didn't say 4S. Yes. Well, this next one's yeah. kind of weird. Remember we said this is the D block. And, mm -hmm. of course, you'd say, well, it's 4D. <clears throat> no, it's actually 3D. 3D. So the Ds, guys, are one Behind. number lower than the row number. That's right. Yes, yep. indeed. And then this next one continues to follow the same pattern, 4P. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the end of the next line uh, down take here. Take a guess, take a guess. guess. Five, five S. S. Now, what do you think this one's going to be? Think about it. I hope you're right. It's 4D. Yep. And then, of course, here, I think you can see the pattern. That'll be 5P. Five five and I bet you can figure out the next one over here. I'm going to say 6S. That's right. Hey, look at that. But wait. At this point. At this point, things change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we jump down to, to this the line to the 
4F. Now, this is actually technically in yeah, here. Yeah, F lives there. The reason they don't put it down in there is it doesn't fit on one piece of paper. That is correct. It doesn't fit on an <laughs> 8 half by 11 sheet of paper, so they have to pull it out. So this is now, the 4F is actually two levels behind. Kind of weird. Yep. And the next one we jump, we jump okay, back, back to the up. Ds, and it's 5D. You kind of see the pattern there. And then we go over to 6P, and now we're going to jump down to 7S. the next level, which is the 7S. And then 5F. Then we jump back down to here and see technique, and then we're going to go from here to here and do 16. our last one, 6D. And actually, there is There's a 7P now. Yeah. now. There used to be not stuff there, but there is a 7P. And if you really want to know, here is probably an easier one to do. You mm -hmm. may even want to just print this and put it in your book. Yeah, actually. if you uh, if you're watching this in like QuickTime or something, just hit pause, file, print, print that out, and stick it in your notebook. Yep. So that's it. That's that's the order. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the order that they fill from lowest energy to highest energy. All right. So now let's just do some examples. That's okay. just the key. Electron configuration practice. So let's talk. Let's do something uber easy, Mr. Sams. Hydrogen. Okay. Now hydrogen is how many electrons? One electron. Just one electron. So if we go back to our table here, what is the lowest energy? Well, at least the top of the page is the one s right there. So we have to fill the 1s orbital. Now, folks, what you need to do is when you build these, a box counts as an orbital. Okay? Actually, before we do practice, let me do mm -hmm. something else here. Before okay. we do this one, we'll just kind of hold this one off for a second. But for s orbitals, they get one box. Mm -hmm. Now, that's an orbital, so that's a particular shape. We happen to know that the s shape is a sphere. But there's one box because it can have a maximum of two, two electrons. electrons. I know that because right here... Right here, there's only one or uh, two elements, right? Now, for a p orbital, you're going to draw a box that contains uh, three boxes, all right? Okay. Because if you recall the p orbitals, there's this is the one that's the px orbital, this is the py, and there's the one that's hard to draw because it's coming out of the page. There's three different p orbitals, mm -hmm. but they're of equal amounts. And then there's the D orbitals. And and I'm not real going quick to before we go to D, three boxes means we can have six electrons. Yes. Go back to the periodic table, Mr. Bergman. If you'll notice, there are six squares in the P One, block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So and, some, this should be starting to come And if you together. look at the Ds here. How many boxes there? Uh, there are 10 boxes or 10 elements. That means they're going to be 10 electrons mm -hmm. or five, five boxes because so each one, box can have two, two electrons three four so there's five boxes and then if you're going to do the f's you're going to have seven because there's 14 electrons seven boxes two electrons per box that's 14 electrons you and if you look on the periodic table one three five and seven yay you see the pattern there don't you yes so back to hydrogen, Mr. Sims. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen's got one electron. Yep. Now electrons, as you recall, are um, just, we're going to write them as an arrow. Okay. And so, well, that's it. And okay. we actually would label this 1s. That's the orbital 1s. Okay. Okay, because that's that from that 1s mm -hmm. orbital. And it and, looks like it has one electron in the 1s. And there's a second kind of a notation. You would say 1s1. Right. So Where for, this 1 is what? That's the, how many electrons are in the s orbital. The number of electrons. And it's in level 1s. Yep. So real quick, for a clarification, when you're drawing the boxes, those are called orbital diagrams. And then when you write the 1s1, that's called the electron configuration. That's so correct. when you're asked for this on your test, when it says draw the orbital diagrams, that's the boxes and arrows. When it says electron configuration, that's the 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, all that stuff that you'll see here in a minute. Good. Okay. Let's do some more. Well, how about we do lithium next, Mr. All right. So lithium, element, lithium is element number three. That means there are three electrons. So the first orbital box, I'm going to do the orbital okay. diagram first. By the way, is the three should the go 1S. down the bottom, not at the top. That's true, so. actually. Yeah, the three should actually be here. You're right. All right, that's, well, we've got to spin three electrons. Right. So the first electron is an arrow up and then an arrow down. Okay. Um, but we still have another electron. I got another electron. Yeah, so, so hmm. after 1S is? 1S happens to be 2S. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got to the end of a line, and we go to 2s orbital, and so we draw 2s. You only get one box for the 2s because yeah. it's an it's s an orbital, s, right? and we get another arrow. All right, so there's the three electrons. That's it. So this is the orbital diagram, and then for the electron configuration, you'd say 1s. Now, how many electrons are in here? Two. Two, so you put a two squared. That's the number of electrons. Okay. And then we also have to identify 2s. Two. Two. Nope, one. Sorry. <laughs> 
2s1. Because right. there's only one There's only electron one electron there. Yeah. in there. Yeah, that's Sorry right. Sorry about that. All right, how about we jump and we do mm, nitrogen. Perfect. Nitrogen is element number seven. seven. There are seven electrons. So the first orbital is labeled the 1s. That's like the lowest level. Two electrons. All right. Now the second orbital is 2s. Right? Remember that from our diagram. 1s, mm -hmm. and then we jump to 2s. And so we're going to put two electrons in there because we've got to build up to seven electrons. Right, so that's only got four. four. Mm -hmm. And so the next level is we come across the 2s and we see the 2p. Now this is a little different one because there's six electrons possible there, right? So we need three boxes. So we need three boxes. So we're going to write 2p. I'm going to make a bigger box with three. Now I've already spent four, so I have three more to go. Mm -hmm. Five, six... So. Now, Mr. Bergman, why did you put one in each of those squares? Well, remember the you rule: they have up? to, they have to. You don't double up. You got to. They, they each of these, they don't, they don't like double up. Technically, you know what? Electrons both have the same charge, right. and if you put them close together, they're going to repel from each oh, other. Oh, so they like to be alone first, and then if they have to, you go back That's and double exactly them. Exactly right. Okay. So this is the orbital notation, and got then it. for the electron configuration, you'll write one s two because there's two, two electrons. electrons here. 2s, how many electrons? Two. Two. And then you'll say 2p. Now it's not, it's all of them to combine. Right. How many so in there? there? There's three. Three. So that's the electron configuration. All right, Mr. Bergman, I'm going to ask you for the pen. Okay. I'm going to ask you to relinquish control of the pen. That's hard for me, Mr. Sam. I know, and my handwriting is so horrible. Okay, what I want to do is magnesium. And I'm going to show you an alternate way to do this because I like to work backwards. So magnesium is atomic number 12, so we're dealing with 12 electrons. So let's go back to the periodic table. So what I'm gonna do, if you look on a periodic table, you'll find out that magnesium lives right here. That's correct. Okay, so magnesium lives in the 3s position. That's correct. So I'm gonna work backwards. I know I'm going to end with 3s, so I'm just gonna start there, 3s. Okay, and if I look back at my periodic table, magnesium is in the one, to the second spot yeah, of, right. so of magnesium. Gonna in, in, so there's going to be, two, there's two, gonna electrons. be two electrons in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in everything that comes before 3s. I know before 3s we have 2p, 2s, and 1s. And I'm just going to fill them up. That's correct. That's good. So you're working backwards. I like the backwards. Notice how Mr. Sams is filling those, the one at a time before he doubles up. Okay, so then my electron configuration I know is going to end with 3s2 because I'm working backwards. 3s2. That's my last thing That's that correct. I filled. So I'm just going to put it in everything prior to that. There you go. Completely full. So I like to work backwards, less thinking involved. I agree. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> so if you can work backwards, it's always, well, always a bonus. All right, let's do some harder ones, and we'll work backwards. So which ones should we pick? Let's, uh, let's jump to something ugly. Let's do uh, cobalt. Ooh. That's not too ugly. It's not too ugly. We'll get some ugly one here. Yeah. That's element number 27. So mm -hmm. let's let's use the Samsian method. All right. The Samsian method. Samsian electron configuratory method. I like it. I think I can get famous and get in a textbook. I think so. The cobalt, Sweet. cobalt right here. That's where cobalt is <laughs> on the periodic table. Now he's in the 3D. How many over is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's actually seven. Yeah, it is seven. I'm okay, right. you're right. You're right. So he's gonna end. All right. That's not very good. But oh well. <laughs> um, that's the three D level, and it's gonna okay. be seven. So one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice, Mr. Bergman made the down arrows before the up arrows. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and which one. Also, I'm doing the shortcut arrows just yeah. without the little ticky Cause part because I'm lazy. Chemists. Okay, so that's the three D level, and so if we go back to our periodic table that we did the three D, we're going to go backwards. Four S, three P, three S, two P, two S, one S. So, so everything what? before three D we put in. So 4S. then. I'm going backwards. You may want you've got that page before yeah. you. 4s and then what? 3p. 3p. And then 3s. 3s. 2p. I'm trying, trying to fit them all <laughs> in right here. I don't know if I'll make it. 2p. 2s. 1s. 2s. And then we'll kind of put the 1s over here. And then everybody else is filled. Fold. 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 It's it fold. Sorry. Are I you small, being fooled? I have small children. They've, yes. They're rubbing off on me. I see that. Yeah. 
Okay. okay, I need to brag on my son real quick. Yeah. I went on a hike last week That's with right. my family. My wife and I carried our twins on our backs. 11 miles on this hike up from 9,000 feet to 11,500 feet up to this lake. We carried our, our girls, and that's cool. But my son, my five-year-old son, hiked all the way up and all the way back 11 miles. He's amazing. He's a rocket, man. He's a I mean, hiking he's like, stud. Like, he, like, he's going to be a triathlete or something. Could someday. be. Yeah. So, folks, that is the Electron configuration. It's like, oh, my gosh, it's getting longer. Yeah. Well, you know, there's 30, 27 electrons. We've got to describe where each of them is. Yeah. What is their address? Each of them has its own particular address, and that's kind of the deal. Should we show them the shortcut? Yeah, let's show them the shortcut. The now. shortcut! You're probably thinking to yourself, why did you just waste 10 minutes of my life, and then now you're going to show me the shortcut? We're big fans of learning the hard way. Yeah, so the shortcut is, is what you do is you go back to the last noble gas. Mm -hmm. So if you look here, we had cobalt. Where was cobalt? Is this the cobalt? 3P7, yeah. I know. I'm trying to find it. I wrote it down somewhere. Here it is. There it is. So cobalt right here is on the fourth period. And so if I go back to the third period, the last element on the third period, which is right here. That's argon. And this is argon. You can do a shortcut, basically, because these electrons, the only electrons that really do anything in an atom are the ones on the outside. And that's be the ones that would be these electrons here. And so you only really need to describe these electrons and all these other electrons. Can be everything described. up, everything up through three P six, where argon lives. Yeah, you can. We're gonna s summarize or so condense. Basically, all of this right here. This is the electron configuration of argon. So you go and you write bracket argon, and then you just write everything else. Four S two, three D seven. Woo! Done. That is the same thing as writing this. All right, let's do one really ugly big, one. hairy, ugly one. We'll do it the long way. Then we'll do the shortcut. And then we'll be done. Yeah, I think it's what I was thinking too. Mr. Let's do something in the F column. How about in the F column or passes through the F column? It's in. I don't care. In. How? Let's do mercury. Mercury. Okay. Let's do mercury. HG mercury. And mercury has eighty. Uh, eighty electrons. Eighty electrons. Ochenta. Okay. All right. So mercury, mercury is. Is it six? It's in six. So here is mercury, right? That's seven. Oh, it's in row six, sorry, not in H sixty. There. G. Okay, so there's Mercury. And so let's well let's go backwards. Okay. But I'm going to work backwards on a long sheet of paper, so to speak. Okay. So if we go backwards to Merc actually backwards, he's gonna be six or it's five, five D. It's five D ten. It's the very last one, so it has to be a ten. Yep. So I'm gonna do the five D column. I'm gonna make it way down here. One, two, three, four, five D ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the five D column. All now right, we're so just gonna go five D four five D comes six S. No, it's the F, isn't oh, it? Oh the F, you're right. Sorry, four F. Big My long mistake. thing here. There, there we go. So this is the 4F, four F. F, and it's going to be filled. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And before 4F is 6S. Just one box. 6S. Four. And then we're going to say the 5P. 5 5P, 5 yep. That's going to be a three boxer, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5P. And then 5, no. Uh, then 4D. And then we got 4D. Full. Everything's full. Everything's full up Actually, to the very last one. The last one's even full on this one. The last one's even full, too. And then what? Um, then uh, three, uh, 5S. 5S. Okay. Okay. Then 4P. Now, folks, you know where Mr. Sams is getting that, right? From the periodic table. Just He's like got the, one the you periodic have table. It's this table. One. He just did 4P. So the next is 3D. So he's going to 3D, 4S, 3P, 3S, yep. 2P, 2S, 1S. Going right? backwards in order. Just going backwards in order. So All right, 3D. So 3D, so that's a bigger box, right? Well, and it like comes out and it like flies out at you. Like you can almost touch it. Oh, that's a different kind of 3D. That was stupid. Don't ever let me say that again. Uh, that, was, that was stupid, Mr. Zanx. And then I can say that's 4S. 3P. And then we go back. Oh, hopefully I did this right. 3P. 3P. C3P. Oh. oh. <laughs> that 
that tweak. Okay. I've been watching a lot of Star Wars with my son lately. Right. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. You're never mind. You're fine. 3S, and then we've got 2P. I'm doing this from memory because I don't have the periodic table thing in front of me, which you probably do, but I've done this a couple of times in my life. Just a couple. And then we have 2S, and then we last have 1S. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. All right. Electron now, configuration. So 1S. 1S2. 2S2. Two. Two two S2. S2. Two. Two. That's just, again, here. And I see here 2P6. 3S2. 3S2. 3P6. 4s2, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d6, 5p6, 6s2. No, 4d10. Sorry, my mistake. Mr. Sams, I'm just listening to what you're saying. I, I, I was just testing you to see if you're. 4d10, 5p6, 6, 6s2, 6s2 4f14, 5d10. 5d10. My word. Kay. Now, shortcut. Shortcut. I like shortcuts. Yep. So for the shortcut, Mercury, Mercury is here. So we want to go to this element. He's in the noble mm -hmm. gas, right? But, you know, the last guy in column number five. And this Xenon. is... Xenon. Uh, Xenon. So we're going to take 5P6 and back, and we're going to so all of this roll that into Xenon. Equals Xenon. So we're just going to say brackets... Xenon. And then everything after that. 6S2. And then we're going to say 6S2 for F14, 5D10, done. All right. So all that's of the this shortcut. is equal to all of, wow, that. Yeah. We're trying to identify the location of every electron and atom. Yep. Giving it an address. Giving it an address. Okay. That's it, folks. Um, you're going to get lots of practice in mm -hmm. class. And if you're watching on the internet, uh, your teacher will give you practice, I'm yep. sure. And all if right. not, just pick an element and go. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.